start off. Hello everybody, it's Dr. Zeno with Whitney Zeno. For 15 Minute Fuel, we're just in 15 minutes a day. We will fuel your mind, your body, and your future. That's right. All right, just when we're waiting for people to get on, we're just going to go over the announcements as usual. Episode 38 of We Are Heroes is live. That's when we were in Nashville. Mm -hmm. I totally make up for the last episode. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Much better. Yes. And, uh, so I do, but do appreciate that we show you the, the, the ups and the downs. Uh, so definitely watch that. And make sure you hit the share button. I mean, share with other people because by now you can see the quality is amazing. It's, it is a story. It is a journey. It's not a, we're not getting lucky with these. This is really, it really becomes this beautiful uh, story yeah. of events that's happening. Uh, so make sure you share it's just like you share this. It is an adventure mm -hmm. of the unknowns. Also, for all the podcasting people, you know, I always mention SoundCloud, Stitcher, and um, iTunes, go ahead and register to those and also review them. You know, put the reviews. That's how we get higher in it and, and other people get to know about it. Um, Iamhero.com starting Monday. So everybody go to Iamhero.com, sign up, and it's my gift to you, our gift to you, is the One Month to Win series. It's a 20 video or one month video series of getting the habit of winning. It has all the great, cool, it, it's like, Every day, we teach you one little easy step to do. So I'm not dumping on you. We're just doing one little thing. You will be so much more productive, time expansion, and winning. You'll, you, you know what? Most of you will realize how much you're winning each and every day. So even if it's just being aware of it, mm -hmm. and I'll be going now uh, on, on Snapchat and Instagram, I'll be going over those daily with you. So make sure you uh, get to IamHero.com and then... Find us on Snapchat and on Instagram at Dr. Zaino and follow the stories. I'll be going over a couple of those things with you so we could do it together. All right? All right. And now we're here with It's Family Friday. I'm sweating. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Timmy and I just got a good leg workout in. Lots of squats. And uh, so now okay, I so just believe to it's in my beautiful life. <laughs> Don't mess my hair. I won't mess your hair. Um, so um, just to follow up from last week. <laughs> so... <laughs> I talked about like the three <laughs> lies of motherhood. You're interrupting, don't I'm, I'm just, I'm enjoy. <laughs> I'm three. drunk by the beauty. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> so, church. Last week, <laughs> <I'm in church. laughs> last week we talked about the three lies of motherhood and I got some amazing feedback and I had some amazing conversations. Where are you going? You're really getting a towel, oh Lord. People are like dropping off my Facebook because you're being such a Because they're coming kid. out of my Facebook. Look, everything's <laughs> blowing up. <laughs> So, uh, so I got so much good feedback and had some really good conversations with uh, women throughout the week, and um, it was it was really good. So it's just good to get those conversations going about lies that we're believing or that we have believed, and just get that out in the open. And the more we talk about that with the women in our lives, the more freeing it is. Oh, so my, my sister, gosh, hey, so she's on yours. You're supposed to get on my Facebook Emma live. <laughs> so, um, so today I'm going to go through. Kind of just a couple steps that we can start to implement to kind of overcome those lies because we're all, you know, we all can get burdened by them. But what are some, just some easy practical steps that we can do to apply and start um, getting over those and getting past those and telling ourselves the, the correct true things. So number one is intuition. So you have to start listening to your intuition if you're not already good at that. And I, I talk about this a lot. Did you just roll your eyes? No, I'm no, not. Okay. Not okay. <laughs> um, so I talk about this a lot because I believe in it so much. I believe in intuition so much. I believe that it's a gift and I believe we all have it. We all just have to learn how to tap into it. So I'm just going to read. I've talked about it a lot before. I'm just going to talk about it a little bit today, but I'm just going to read the definition. So the definition of intuition is the ability to understand something immediately without the need for conscious reasoning a thing that a person knows or considers likely from instinctive feeling rather than conscious reasoning. So this is just so intuition is a, is your subconscious knowledge. It's something that's already there. So yeah, so like oh, your mom wrote, always follow your gut. So it's yeah, that she is, gut. She is it's the, that yeah, yeah. yeah she's yeah, the queen of that. You guys see it. If anybody's <laughs> intuition, it's my mom. That's yeah. her superpower, definitely. Yeah. So that's that. You know, that's that gut feeling you get, or that heart feeling you get immediately. You get that feeling before it gets back to your conscious mind to start so, thinking about it and reasoning and making up excuses why you shouldn't do it or why this person thinks you should do it this way. And yeah, and I think women have it. 
I think we all have it, mm -hmm. but women seem to, it, it goes along with that motherly instinct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whole, we can tap into it a little I, bit I, easier. I truly than, believe that. Yeah, yeah. We can definitely, there's definitely like that mother's instinct, but men also have it too. So um, you and actually have it more than you I know. realize, you know, so. But I, I think, and I think every woman, when you talk about this, they'll all say, oh yeah, there was yeah. a time. Like, so you've all experienced it, but the thing is you experienced it, but you just don't know the equation on how to re we uh, develop re, it. We develop it. Yeah. We, like actually be able to tap. I yeah, don't so use tap in, but you but tap into it. it. You do. Well, it's a skill use, that you, you develop. Use it to be able to use it almost consciously. You follow yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, to recognize that, right. ooh, I got that. I got that feeling. I'm going to go with that first right. gut instinct. And you do this a lot, just like when you're like, oh, I got scared about that, so I'm going to do that. Like I hear you yeah. say that a lot as an example. Oh, I got like this feeling, and but I'm going to do it anyway. So that so sometimes it can be like a we think it's fear, but it's something that's just this gut reaction. It's your intuition that's like, okay, you know, you need to go for that. So that's that feeling that you get in your gut or your heart that you need to take action on. You need to listen to that before you start making up all the excuses and all the reasons why you shouldn't do it or why you're not good enough or why. And then that's when all the lies come in. The lies come in after that. So it's just a skill that you've got to develop and you just have to listen to that that small voice, that still small voice inside you that's already, it's there and it's trying to talk to you, but sometimes we've just ignored it for so long that we don't think it's there and that's whenever you get to, people are like, oh, I don't know what to do, I don't know, when they can't make a decision, it's because they're listening to all the voices around them and they're not listening to their intuition. So we have to start listening to that and then following that and developing that skill. And, um, oh, and then also I wanted to, because I was, I was sending, I was resending people videos of our 15 minute fuel and I was scrolling back through like all, I didn't realize they were all on YouTube. So if you ever want to search like, <laughs> I, I, was, I, was, I know, thanks. Well, I'm letting other people know because they don't know. You can always go back and search old 15 minute fuels are all organized under the Dr. Zeno YouTube page. So it's real easy to like read the titles. I know. Well, I'm, I'm glad you're watching <laughs> when I'm, when we tell you that every <laughs> Oh, sorry. I do watch. I'm, I'm watching. So, um, so anyway, so just in order to be our true authentic self, again, we have to get rid of that secret identity and stop believing those lies about ourself that society has told us or that we've believed from other you know other people yep zero percent secret identity and and just following your true north and that's gonna I was just I just had our name my neighbor over this morning and we were talking about these things she's like oh well maybe I, I shouldn't do that and I was like no you do your family's gonna look different than mine so you do what's right for your family if you're having a feeling that you want to go down this path then follow that don't just ignore it because I'm not going to do it, you know, so I think it's real easy to get into that. So we have to listen to our intuition, what our, our self is telling ourself. <laughs> so number two is um, listen to the advice that we give to others. So a lot of times, like the advice that we're giving to others is, is advice that we need for ourselves. Like I'm real, I'm aware of that. Like I'll get into like giving people advice and I'm like, oh man, like I should be doing that. You know, it's like I give I mean, people advice all the time and I'm like, oh yeah, like it's a good reminder to be like, yeah, I've got to be sure I'm doing that. Yeah, that's what 15 minute, 15 minute fuel is me uh, <laughs> yeah. advising myself on what to do. Like, you know, when I guys talk to you, it's, it's all, it's, it's keeping me accountable mm -hmm. because right is not so, because when it comes to yourself, we have, because that's where the insecurities and all the things that life has done to us, we get overwhelmed because we, we're afraid to make the wrong decision, right? So that's why you're like, uh, uh, but when someone, someone wants to say, well, what should I do with this relationship or job? You're like, oh yeah, I'm the expert now. You should do this, this, <laughs> yeah. this, and this, and this. And then the words that you're saying is really, it's coming pure because it's not about you. Mm -hmm. You want to really help that person. You're unbiased. And really, you're like, wow, I need to take that own advice. And so mm -hmm. I think that's a great, that's like we're talking, that's a great awareness tool because the advice you would give somebody else is definitely the advice you would do it. And, and I'm, you know, I mean, you guys know me by now, I'm not crazy, but like sometimes I do that okay. where like if I am dealing with an issue, I'll put the issue onto like the chair, so to speak, and the table, like I'm talking to somebody else and I, and I disassociate my emotions with that action or with mm -hmm. that situation and I'm giving the chair advice and that advice is kind of helps me kind of get through the decision Yeah, it stuff. separates you emotionally a little bit. Well, you know bit, I talk so. to myself a lot, so that doesn't... Yeah, your thinking you couch. I, yeah. I, we don't have that anymore. I know, we did. We used to have a thinking couch. 
Like, you were so upset about my thinking couch. I don't know why. It's like we moved into this new little apartment and he had to have this couch and he was calling it his thinking couch. I was like, that is so weird. Like, why do you need a thinking couch? I don't to know. Think. Anyways, you don't have one anymore, so maybe you need one. Well, my dad, know. my dad, my dad would do that. He would sit on the couch like this and think. Yeah. But he was just, he was just, just he was just wallowing. Yeah, yeah. He wasn't yeah, coming so, up with. So no more thinking couches. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so um, so again, pay attention to the advice you're taking from others. And also, if you're in relationships that are draining you or that's always like a take-take relationship where you're – or like the other person's always taking from you or the other person is draining you, and that's kind of like a, um, a time – you know, you need to reassess that relationship. So um, anyway, just a little side note there. So number three is um, the final one. So take time to sit down – with pen and paper to write things out, or like I use my phone for notes. I don't write a whole lot. I use the phone, but I can get deep on my phone. Like my notes section is like pretty, you know, it can be get intense. So write, stop, and take the time to write down your fears and fogs. So this is where, because a lot of times, and, and this is one thing that I'm kind of noticing now, but you used to always ask me, well, what's your vision? What's your dream? So I was like, I don't know. I don't know what my, and I just kind of pushed it off as, well, you're the visionary and I'm just going to like help you get there. And so, and I was always kind of like, I don't know what my dreams are. I don't know what my goals are, but I think I just was too busy, I, busy with crappy stuff to do, whatever, just, well, just like busy. life stuff, just busy with life stuff. I didn't take the time to like sit down and focus on my dreams and my visions and things like that. But then whenever you started talking about the whole fears and fogs thing, that's really what blocks us from being a vulnerable and authentic to write down our dreams and visions because we have these fears that are blocking us from even writing them down. Mm -hmm. And I'm like super guilty of that. I've done that for a long time. So talk about like the fears and fogs. Well, there's, there's no guilt in it. It just, we, it's, I think the episode I did, you could guys look back on it, but the fears and fogs were, fears are like what I'm afraid afraid of and fogs are I kind of have a vision but there's there's blank spots that I can't fill in it's like for me it's technology it's like ah, I don't know how to build that website so it's a fog I can't I can't mm -hmm. see through it but then there's definite fears and so when we think of a fear and a fog a fear is in our mind right it's it's un, you can't touch it a fog you can't touch so I was like well how can I take those things and make them conquerable or at least put them on put them on a on like separate them from because when you get it emotional. out, yeah, when you get it out, it just you feel separate from it. Then you it's can look emotional. at it and be like, oh, that's not really that big of a deal. Well, you, you, you know? put it on paper. So here's here's the fear and here's the fog. So the fog was, uh, you know, how you know how how do I get a video team? Where do I do that? How do we sit, uh, do internet? How do I start? How do I get lighting? Simple stuff. Like if you look at one of the the We Are Heroes, I went over my fears and fogs from January. Mm -hmm. And it's like I wrote them down, and so now I have something that's tangible, and I can look under it, around it, and I can target, and that becomes a goal, is to, okay, hire a video team, check, fog, gone. Mm -hmm. You know, we're, we're, yeah. you know how to get on stages, hire the guy, check, gone. Mm -hmm. Or, hey, this is something i got to deal with, gone, or fear, gone. You know, write a talk, gone. So, so I have something to go for, yeah. and then when it's on paper, you clear it. So, it, but but I still don't know the end results. Mm -hmm. But I know the things that are, that would I would say. Well, I don't know this, so why should I get started, or why should I move? Well, at least I know. Well, hey, I could do this, and I almost zigzag yeah. on the way there. So, mm -hmm. fears and fogs, put them on paper, and then you're right. It takes some of the sting. Mm -hmm. Away from it, you could look at it, and then when I have something here, I could ask you. I'm like, babe, what do you think of this? What, what do we do? I don't know what to do. Yeah. And I'm like, well, why don't we get a program on that? I get a book on that. So it gives me something to conquer. Yeah, versus just all these yeah. fears and imaginations yeah. going through your head, and you don't get it down. Imagination is perfect because yeah. it never happened. Like the fear yeah. is not real. Yeah. It didn't happen. Like in this moment right now, I just think in right now at this time, uh, you know, two fifteen. Like right now, we're all safe. None of us should be fearful of it. Like right now, we're safe, right? Mm -hmm. You're okay. So all the fears and fogs, like truly, but in this moment right now, everything's perfect. So the fears are something in the future or they're from something from the past you're worried about having to get. But if you say right in this second, we're all safe. We're all good. Mm -hmm. No, you're right. We're, we're okay. Yeah. So that's why like if we live in the past and the future, that's where the stress comes from. But you say, okay, right now, I'm fine. Yeah, yeah. Everything's great. Mm-hmm. Good. Yeah, so write your fears and fogs down, get those out, and then 
expansion in your mind. You know, you make room in your mind for like other things to come out. Because there's no memory management anymore either. Because it's yeah. down on paper. I don't have to think about that. Mm -hmm. So it's like, okay, well, because it, it's very, okay, we're going to talk about this later. It becomes overwhelming. So overwhelming is this. When you're overwhelmed, it means you're spending a lot of energy because you're stuck. You're stopped. Mm -hmm. So when you're overwhelmed, you're stuck, you're stopped. And the answer to being overwhelmed is action and a decision. That's yeah. it. Mm -hmm. So when I make the decision, I put action in it, I'm not overwhelmed anymore. Like, oh, I'm so overwhelmed, I don't know what to do. So the worst thing to do is to do to nothing. To do nothing. Yeah, that's so, what so many people right. do. They get stuck uh, and, uh. I'm going to pray about it, I'm going to think about it. So they're just, they're static. Mm -hmm. So the thing is to be, if you're feeling overwhelmed, move. Action and make a decision. Do something, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And when you, you ever notice when you make a decision? Mm -hmm. There it is. And so sometimes, remember, we said it's every decision you make is okay. Because you're either going to course correct and learn, or it's going to be the right decision. So make the decision, but you're going to learn and win either way. Mm -hmm. Yep. So that was the three points that you can... There, These are easy things, and that's what I love about all the 15-minute fuels, is that they, there's always like a little something that you can do. So that none of these are like groundbreaking things that are going to change your life overnight, but they're just all these little things that you can tweak. And over time, just like the compound, the compound yeah. effect over, you know, one month, over six months, over one year, you know, your life's going to be different. If you start to take action, like don't just watch these videos, turn it off and do nothing, you know, watch the videos, take one action. Take, take one action of something that we talked about today and just work on that, you know? So it's just simple things that make a difference in the in the long run. So. Yeah, and it's also, also that I don't know, we're, I know we're way over 100 days of 15 minute fuels in a row. So if you're watching this right now and it has like your life is better from us doing this together, then just put a comment, say, hey, lay. hey, just put a comment with a thumbs up saying, hey, listen, my life has improved. Now it's not, it's not about us. This whole thing is about us, but we're doing this all together. So if you could say, hey, listen, this is beneficial to my, my life is definitely improved in some way, shape or form, mentally, physically, socially, and spiritually, you know, just say, hey, listen, this habit that we developed is a good habit. Mm -hmm. It's a good use yeah. of our time. And just give some thumbs up, hit some shares. And, uh, you know, show some love. Yeah. Uh, everybody's just saying good advice. Randy yeah, Russo Randy, wants a thing. He wants Randy, a thinking couch. He totally <laughs> is a thinking couch type of guy. Yeah, I, Randy, it's, it's good. It's good. You definitely want to get one. And Randy's doing amazing. Yep, he is Randy's, doing great. Uh, I mean, a lot of people on here, we've gotten comments from people. Oh, shoot, what do I do? I got a bit. We get comments from people all the time. So it's awesome to see that yep. the little bit that you know, we're doing is making a difference. So that feedback is awesome. So listen, have a great, safe uh, weekend. All right. I'll see you guys tomorrow and Sunday, of course. And, and, uh, you know, make sure you go to that. I am hero.com. Do that right now. Uh, sign up for the one month to win episode and we'll start hitting those things on Monday, but I'll definitely be doing it more on Instagram story and Snapchat. So make sure you sign up on those. It's free and it's fun. Mm -hmm. And I uh, just uh, put the notifications on so we can go through that. And we'll, it's another thing. We'll kind of do it together live time in addition to 15 minute fuel. So thank you so much. Awesome. Welcome. And uh, next week, I, I know you'll have something even better yep. as she always does. Party. All right. Put something together. You're mastering it. <laughs> All right, have a great day. Thanks for watching 15 Minute Fuel, which is in 15 minutes a day. Our goal is to uh, fuel your mind, body, and your future. All right, God bless, guys. Thank you.